And Lucy Edwards with the Alabama Extension Office is here to tell us about an event they are hosting covering the, uncovering, I should say, the truths behind GMOs. And the name of the uh, event is Fact or Fiction, Fiction, excuse me, the truth behind GMOs and other myths. And thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. Always nice to have you in the studio. Okay, so for people who may not know what GMO means, explain briefly what that is. So GMO stands for genetically modified organism. Right. And a lot of people will see it in the grocery store on labels and it says non-GMO and they immediately think, oh, you know, what is a GMO? It must be bad if I have something right. labeled yeah. without it. Well, first off, um, one of the myths is that all of the food that we're eating, you know, is just pumped full of GMOs. And it's like, well, no, you know, really there's only 10 GMO crops genetically modified crops mm -hmm. and they're simply adding traits to the plant so they're basically manipulating genes and we've been manipulating genes right. and plants for, for years because yes. um, corn used to be really small and mm -hmm. now we have you know full corn sure. um, mm -hmm. kernel and the, um, one of the big misconceptions is the like tomato People think, oh, there's GMO tomatoes, and there's not, not, you know, publicly available in the produce section. Mm -hmm. So that's one little myth that we, we just want to help educate people so that they're not fearful. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying you, you know, should or shouldn't eat GMOs. I just want you to be educated so that way when you go to the store, you can make better choices. You can make yeah. better choices, and you'll not be fearful of when right. you see that term GMO. Because you're right, a lot of people do fear that because they're not really fully mm -hmm. educated about it or know. Okay, so let's talk about when this event is going to be held and where. And the specific times. Okay, so we're going to have um, the GMO Factor Fiction mm -hmm. workshop next Thursday. So it's a you know about a week away next right. Thursday evening mm -hmm. from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Houston County Extension Office. Mm -hmm. So for those who are familiar with the old Farm Center, that yes. is where we are located. And hopefully you'll be able to come and join us. We do ask people to pre-register by calling the Houston County Extension okay, Office. Okay, that was my next question. Yes, because we uh, we try you know to have have um, some heavy hors d'oeuvres or just refre light refreshments right. for people to feed on because mm -hmm. um, I know it's six o'clock that's supper time for a lot that's of people right. they're going to expect you to have at least some hors d'oeuvres or mm -hmm. refreshments of some sort yes. at that time yeah so we will okay is there a uh, deadline to register or for so we ask, we're trying to get people to call in by Monday or Tuesday of next okay. week so that way we have enough time to you know mm -hmm. order the food and so forth mm -hmm. um, and when oh, Oh, it's got, I'm sorry. You no, right when they call, they can just call the Houston County Office. Mm -hmm. um, it is a free workshop, so they don't have to pay anything just mm -hmm. to get their name on the list. Okay, and let's remind folks of that number, if you would. Yes, it's 334 794-4108. Okay, we'll put that number. Uh, if we can't get it, you probably don't have a pen, but we'll put that on our website too. Okay, so any special guest speakers that are going to be there? So we're going to have two speakers. Okay. Um, one we haven't even really talked about is the meat we eat, kind of knowing um, what is in, especially the beef, because that's another one people get concerned about. Mm -hmm. um, that when they see the antibiotics on the labels, no antibiotics yeah. and so yeah. forth. Um, so what we will talk about how the beef beef industry um, processes their meat. Mm -hmm. And then another one is the plants, and that's specifically the GMO. So we're kind of getting the beef side of it and the plant side. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. I've been told we're running out of time. But Lucy, we, we always enjoy having you on the show. So, And this sounds like a great event. Uh, it really does to educate the public. So thank you for your time this morning. And as always, we're going to put this full interview on our website if you would like to attend, along with the telephone number mm -hmm. at dothamverse.com. And don't go anywhere, because after the break, we're going to have all of your local news headlines, including the latest installment of Starvin' Garvin. So stick around. You won't want to miss that. We're coming back to you in about two minutes.